Good morning. This is Kelloland on the go with all you need to know in news and weather as you start your Sunday. We also have your boredom busters coming up, but first, our top story. A 62-year-old man has died in a weekend rollover in Lincoln County. The crash happened Friday evening at an intersection six miles west of Harrisburg. The highway patrol says the man lost control of his pickup and went into a ditch and rolled. He died at the scene. Investigators say he was not wearing a seatbelt. Monday is the deadline to register to vote in the November election in South Dakota. You can register to vote tomorrow at your county auditor's office or at a driver's license station, your local city finance office, public assistance agencies, and military recruitment offices. You have to be a South Dakota resident in order to register and be at least 18 years old by the time of Election Day, which is November 8th. Kelloland News is your local election headquarters. You can find election resources right here on Kelloland.com, including who will be on your ballot and where your polling location is. The Sioux Falls Neighborhood Soccer League hosted its first tournament this weekend at the Sanford Crossing. The organization provides a free soccer program to students in the Sioux Falls School District. More than 350 players ranging from second to fifth grade played on the new soccer fields at the Sanford Sports Complex. Saturday's tournament was called the Festival of Champions. It's, uh, it's really the culmination of a year-long dream uh, to really give all kids equal opportunity uh, to play on, on a team. More than 30 businesses and a dozen churches across Sioux Falls volunteered time and provided donations to make this program free to the student players. This year is the 35th anniversary of the release of the holiday classic comedy, Planes, Trains and Automobiles. To celebrate, a Sioux Falls disc jockey has tricked out an old Chrysler LeBaron, similar to the vehicle featured in the 1987 movie. John Small bought the car in Iowa and he painted it the right color and even burned the top off just like in the movie. He also likes to dress up like the late actor John Candy who played Del Griffith, the shower curtain sales ring manager. That's Kelloland's Don Jorgensen riding shotgun dressed as the Steve Martin character Neil Page. Now Small is giving some of his listeners free tickets to next month's 35th anniversary re-release of the movie which will feature 30 minutes of extra footage. Well, let's get our first look at the forecast now with meteorologist Adam Rutten, the Storm Center. Good morning, Adam. Good morning, Perry, and good morning, everybody. It is a quiet start to the day out there, but the evening might not be so quiet. Outside we go, though, all the same, with a view from our camera in Aberdeen. Beautiful sunrise up in Brown County, 40 and north wind at 10 miles per hour. And we're also looking pretty good here in Sioux Falls. 57 at the airport, that's a view west from our downtown camera. An easterly breeze at 13 miles per hour. It is going to be unseasonably warm this afternoon, south and east, with record challenging warmth in place again. Compare that to the noticeably cooler temperatures to the west, 32 in Phillip, 37 in Faith, 41 Spearfish, and 42 in Rapid City. A little breezy in a couple of areas. That wind is going to pick up even more as we head through the afternoon and into the evening. And with very dry air in place, we do have elevated fire weather concerns from Chamberlain to Worthington, points south and east with a red flag warning in effect. We'll go into a little more detail on that. Plus, why we're keeping a very close eye on this area of low pressure for more than one reason. It's all coming up in just a little bit. All right, thank you very much, Adam. Well, Jefferson High School in Sioux Falls has come a long way since opening its doors in the fall of 2021. Since then, students and staff have been working to build a community and culture that's specific to Jefferson. In tonight's Eye on Kelloland, Renee Ortiz speaks to students and staff about their journey navigating a new school. Be sure to watch tonight at 10. It is Kids Day at the JC's Fairgrounds at the WH Lion Fairgrounds. The haunted house, located in the Fine Arts Building, will be brightly lit for children to trick or treat through the maze filled with non scary characters passing out candy. The hours are from 2 to 4 p.m. Admission is $8 for children 12 and under, with one adult getting in free. Get a dollar off admission with a canned food donation for Feeding South Dakota. Today is Family Day at the James O. Applin Memorial Fall Gun Show at the Ramcota Exhibit Hall in Sioux Falls. Vendors are selling and swapping guns of all types as well as supplies from 9 to 3. Admission is $10. The family discount is two, two adults and children getting in for $30. Baltic Lutheran Church is serving a Swedish meatball dinner from 11 to 1.30 in the Baltic School Commons. The cost is $10 for adults, $5 for children and free for ages 5 and under. Brandon Lutheran Church is hosting a Fall Heritage Festival that includes a bake sale from 9.30 to 12.30 and a Swedish meatball dinner including homemade lefse from 11 to 12.30. The cost is a free will offering. 
and enjoy pro football action on Kelloland TV. CBS Sports coverage begins at 11 a.m. Central with the NFL Today. That's followed by the New York Jets at the Denver Broncos at 3 p.m. Adam? Well, here's that area of low pressure I mentioned earlier. That's going to continue to trek eastward. Right now, we're not seeing a whole lot. Cloud cover to the west and a few showers of the rain variety along the Wyoming and Montana borders with South Dakota. To the east, we are pretty quiet right now. We are warm. It's going to be warm, and it's also going to be very dry with dew points uh, pretty low through the afternoon. We'll have a decent bit of wind to deal with and a lot of dry vegetation. As a result, all the ingredients are there for enhanced fire weather concerns. A red flag warning will stay in place for in areas shaded in pink from Chamberlain to Sioux Falls, points south and east, where we could see those uh, concerns stay through the afternoon. It is not going to take much to potentially start any kind of grass or wildfires, so please be careful with any outdoor heat sources. That includes uh, any discarded cigarette butts as well. On top of that, as this area of low pressure gets closer and closer, we're going to watch for the potential for strong to even severe thunderstorms to the southeast. A slight risk, level 2 out of 5 in place along and east of I-29. Marginal risk in green surrounding that up towards Sisseton, Watertown, Mitchell, and then points east along I-29 toward the Twin Cities and Austin. But this risk is conditional. If we're able to get the convection in place and if we're able to get things to fire off, then we'll see that threat for severe thunderstorms come around as there will be plenty of heat to work with, just not too much moisture. That being said, any storm that is able to fire up is going to have a wind component to it and a decent wind component as well. That's going to be the primary concern with any of those gusts that will be able to mix down to the surface. Hail is secondary threat, and there's always that non-zero risk for an isolated tornado for any storm that is able to get itself going. So stay weather aware on air and online. Have your storm tracker app ready to go. We'll keep an eye on things here in the weather center as well. So here's a look at Futurecast. You'll see those showers and a couple of thunderstorms through the afternoon out west at first, even some snow in the highest elevations of the hills. But then we get to 7 and 8 p.m. Notice those thunderstorms firing up towards Sioux Falls, again, points south and east. That is what we're going to be keeping a close eye on as we head through the first part of your evening and into the night along this cold front that's going to continue to push to the east. And speaking of cold, how about the chance for snow in northwestern portions of Kelloland, about as far east as maybe Mulbridge seeing a few flakes mix in? We do have a winter weather advisory in effect in blue for northwestern South Dakota, for Harding, Butte, and Lawrence counties into the northern Black Hills could see several inches of accumulating snow along with that wind. Travel conditions are going to be a little treacherous at times, so please be careful. After today's unseasonable warmth, we are going to moderate quite nicely. We'll have seasonable temperatures in place really through the end of the week and into the first part of your weekend. Highs today run a wide range from the 50s out west, 70s in between, and then record challenging warmth to the southeast. The number to beat today in Sioux Falls is 80. Three. That record was set in 1899. I think we'll be able to challenge that as we head through the afternoon. Showers and a couple of thunderstorms are possible as we head into the night in southeastern Kelowind. Again, a few of them may be strong to severe. Meanwhile, to the west, 30s and even some 20s with a little bit of snow trying to mix into the equation. What you see for highs on Monday, those are daytime high temperatures. Official highs will be recorded at midnight. Our next chance for rain will be on Thursday, but beyond that, we're mainly dry and mainly seasonable as we head into the final weekend of October. Have a great day, everybody. For more on your local news, weather, and sports, you can always head on over to Kelloland.com.